二零二二年第二十條題目咧，都係有關於循環系統嘅。題目就問啦，有一啲 B B 咧，當佢哋出世嘅時候，心臟咧係有缺陷啦。而個缺陷咧就係分隔咗左右兩邊心室嘅中隔或者叫分隔啦，就有個窿喎。而當左右兩邊心室同一時間收縮嘅時候咧，有一部分嘅血咧就會偏離咗正常嘅血流軌跡。咁下面就問返我哋啦，邊一個就最似一個偏離咗嘅軌跡呢？咁呢個題目呢，考幾樣嘢嘅。第一樣啦，當然考返心臟嘅基本結構啦，就係、是、兩邊心室嘅位置啦，中間呢，就有個分隔 septum 啦。亦都啦，考返我哋呢，左右兩邊嘅心室究竟搏住嘅係咩嘅血管喎？左邊嘅心室呢，就搏住大動脈 aorta， 當中去運送嘅呢，就係含氧血，而右邊嘅心室呢，就搏住肺動脈。當中運行住嘅咧就係缺氧血啦。咁今次嘅題目咧就係問偏離咗個路徑啊嘛。咁我哋知道咗正常路徑先啦。正常路徑啦，就係由右邊嘅心房就泵去肺動脈，就去兩邊嘅肺部啦，就做氣體交換啦。而左邊嘅心室收縮嘅時候咧，就將啲血泵去大動脈，就泵去身體各部分啦，係正常路徑嚟嘅。咁從呢個概念咧，其實我哋已經可以篩走兩個答案噶啦。右邊嘅心室邊有可能搏住大動脈啊？所以 A 你嘅答案已經可以 say goodbye 啦。而左邊嘅心室又點會搏住肺動脈啊？所以啦 ，D 呢個答案咧都可以 say goodbye 啦。咁跟住啦 ，B 同 C 嘅答案究竟係左心室去右心室啦，定係右心室去左心室咧？咁咧就牽涉咗我哋整條題目最重要嘅概念啦。咁過往咧我都拍過一段片啊，就係講翻咧心臟肌肉嗰個口搏嘅比較。咁我哋喺書本學過嘅就係左邊心室嘅心臟肌肉嘅壁咧。係比起右邊心室嘅肌肉咧，係為之厚嘅。所以啦，左邊嘅心室比起右邊嘅心室咧，就能夠提供一個較為大嘅推動力去泵血啦。而根據而家題目嘅邏輯、就是，就係喺呢個中隔係中間有個窿，咁所以啲血咧係可以係左右兩邊走嘅。咁所以當兩邊嘅心室收縮嘅時候咧，咁根據頭先我哋呢一句説話咧，我哋就知道啦。左邊嘅心室就能夠產生一個大啲嘅 pumping force， 一個推動血嘅力量啦，即係一個高啲嘅血壓啦。咁所以啲血咧，自不然就係由左邊嘅心室泵咗去右邊嘅心室，再由右邊嘅心室咧就泵咗去肺動脈。咁所以答案咧就係 B 啦。咁呢個題目咧，兩 Sir 都非常之喜歡嘅，因為咧佢就係典型嘅睇病學敗屙啦。其實今次呢個病咧就係所謂嘅中隔缺損，又或者平時我哋俗稱嘅心瘤症啦。佢有兩類型嘅心瘤症嘅，今次呢條題目咧係講緊心室中隔缺損，咁我哋有另一款啦，就係、是、心房嘅中隔缺損，亦即係話啦，喺呢兩個心房中間咧都係有個窿窿嘅，咁呢兩款啦其實都係一啲先天性嘅缺陷啦。咁今次啦，睇下題目有咩嘅變奏咯喎，咁今次又問 M C 啫，下次問長題咧，你又嘗試下喺留言區留低你嘅答案。咁啊，第一條咧就想我哋解釋一下啦。點解當一個心室中隔缺損嘅病人咧，喺佢嗰個肺動脈係一個高一啲嘅血壓咧？而第二條題目咧，就要我哋去講解下同解釋一下，當一個病人係患有心瘤病嘅時候啦，佢提供俾身體細胞嘅血嘅氧氣含量究竟係高一啲定係低一啲咧 ？Two two two question twenty is also about circulatory system. It say that some babies are born with the heart defect, which is a hole in the septum separating the left and right ventricles. And when the ventricles contract at the same time, some blood flow will deviate from the normal route. So, which of the following is most likely the deviated route? So, surely this question sheds several ideas. First concept is about the internal structure of the heart, the right and left ventricle. What is the structure? What is the adaptive features? And the second idea is checking what type of blood vessels is connected with the particular ventricles. So the left ventricles is connected to the aorta, pumping the oxygenated blood, and the right ventricle is connected to the pulmonary artery, pumping the deoxygenated blood. Therefore, in the answer A, B, C, D, we can eliminate two answers already. So you can see that. So you can see that for the answer A, for the right ventricle, how could it be connected with the aorta? Therefore, option A is wrong. And then for the left ventricle, how could it be connected with the pulmonary artery? So for the options B and C, 
when the ventricle contracts at the same time. So let's take a look at the question. It's mentioned that there is a hole in between the left and right ventricles. That means there is a hole in the septum. Therefore, there should be mixing. So there should be mixing of the blood from the left ventricle and the right ventricle. So the, so the deviated blood flow should be from the left ventricle to the right ventricle or from the right ventricle to the left ventricle. So it depends on the other critical concepts. It's about the heart muscle thickness comparison. So you can watch this video for the revision first. The muscle wall of the left ventricle is thicker than that of the right ventricles. It means that the left ventricle provides a greater bumping force than the right ventricle does. So what does it mean? It means that when both of the ventricles, they are contracting, contracting, so there should be a greater blood pressure generated by the left ventricles. Therefore, there should be some blood pumped from the left ventricle to the right ventricles. And then the right ventricle will pump the blood to the pulmonary arteries. So, therefore, you can pick up the correct answer is B. The blood will be pumped from the left ventricle to the right ventricle and then to the pulmonary artery. So this question is also one of my favorite questions because it's about disease approach. The disease mentioned in this question is called septal defect. And there are two types of septal defect, including the atrial septal defect. It means that there is a hole in between the atria. And the second type is the ventricular septal defect. It means this disease mentioned in question 20. There is a hole in the septum separating the left and right ventricle. And apart from the MC, it can ask you about the long question. So apart from MC, it can ask about this disease in long question pattern. So you can leave your answer in the comment section to see if your concept is clear enough. Explain why there will be a slightly higher blood pressure in the pulmonary artery. And stay and explain the oxygen content of the blood provided to the body cells if the patient is suffering from the septal defect.